Hey good people, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Burkosha Coco. Alright, um, if this is your first time, welcome. If this is not, welcome back. Um, if you'll be kind to hit the subscribe button and the not post notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. That way you won't miss a step in this on this journey. But anyways, I wanted to come on here to do a quick um, 8, 9, 10 week bump date update pregnancy update um and then i'm gonna try to remember everything because i don't have my notes with me i'm in the car we just left on one of my cousin's funeral uh funerals and it's hot here in florida and nugget is playing nugget have i have to go to the bathroom really bad so while we're at the graveside i um decided to stay in the car and wait since I don't want to end up having an accident on myself. I have them wiped all the way white, white, and maybe, but I don't want to mess myself up. So, anyways, I just want to go straight to what I'm going to update you guys on. Number one, um, first thing that I, I can remember with my eight week bump date was um, pregnancy symptoms is um, increased urination. At night is usually when I have to use the bathroom the most is at night. Um, I get nauseous. I haven't thrown up. Well, at eight weeks, I hadn't thrown up yet. Um, but I get nauseous at night. I have extreme, well, usually after lunch that's when the bloat starts in the morning stomach is flat nothing but by the time after lunch stomach is sticking out I'm full of gas it's real um so that's used that's about the only thing that happened at eight weeks that I could think of I, I was having where I wanted to have um I was craving green beans um, the Chinese kind where the fresh ones but have a little crunch to it with the garlic and onion um, That's what I was craving green beans eight weeks and then I did want fish sandwiches. So going on to nine weeks nine weeks still was nauseous um, Sleepy I was in bed nine weeks. I was in bed sleep by 930 if you try to call me contact me by 9 30 i was like in my second zone of sleep so um um what else at work at lunchtime very very tired at lunchtime after i ate lunch and i wasn't eating much at lunch but i'm surprised because i still can eat meat um with my other pregnancies um with my girls my older girls I was not able to eat meat during the first and second trimester so I'm surprised nugget is allowing me to eat meat I'm not eating much meat but I am able to eat meat um, I did have an appointment at like it was eight weeks yeah it was eight weeks when I had the last appointment and I do have um, I did a live update there so if you want to see the live updates I do do um, random live updates that way you get a right now update but I'm just going back to that way I can know that I documented um, these updates with the nine. 
also at 10 weeks okay nine weeks going to 10 weeks so it was saturday that i changed my weeks turn um change on saturdays so it was saturday morning i got up to go to the bathroom or late, no afternoon i went to the bathroom and i started to have 10 weeks yeah between nine turning to 10 weeks i started to have anxiety attacks so that's what's been happening i've been having anxiety attacks um starting at nine going to 10 weeks i don't know i don't know if it's because i haven't seen the doctor um because at my last appointment i requested to go i thought i was okay to come in four weeks so that's what we agreed to four weeks but the anxiety is very real and strong um and then the whole up at 10 weeks I um, shortness of breath I've been having shortness of breath when I'm at work talking with patients right now I don't feel short of breath because I think I'm sitting down but at work I have shortness of breath um, breathing was very heavy like my chest felt, felt heavy um, I end up going to the emergency room my mom's come with them some water I end up going to the emergency room on like Tuesday night because I had a bad anxiety attack no it was Monday Monday or Tuesday, I went to the emergency room. I was dehydrated and had to get hydrated. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, cousin Betty calling you and running it, running behind you. Ain't thank you, Mama. Hey, cousin Betty. Um. So I had to go to the emergency room. I had to get an IV, and now I just realized I have an allergy. I'll show you my arm. Where they took my um, where they took and drew my blood. The adhesive tape, I didn't realize I have an allergy to that. So, that's something I did learn. Also, yes, during my 10 week, 10 weeks, so it was Monday I had blood work. My 10 week um, OB full blood panel, I had that done on Monday. So, Tuesday when I went to the emergency room, I also had my progenity testing. So, the progenity testing is going to do check the chromosomes and it will let us know what we're having. So, I don't know I think it takes about 10 days about two weeks to get those results back when the results come back I have an appointment but I am going planning on doing a gender reveal I don't want to know what I'm having so I have them um, put it in an envelope and seal it that way we don't know and then I have to find someone to plan the gender reveal for me because we want to be surprised hubby swear up and down and think that we are having a boy um, I don't care I just want a healthy baby um, but I've been feeling okay, except for, you know, besides the anxiety, I've been having very, very bad anxiety. So, I'm um, like, today I was okay. I had to get my blessed oil and put it on my belly. Um, but today, actually, I'm 11 weeks today, but I'm just doing the 10 weeks. I don't know what's going to transpire throughout this week, so that's why I'm stopping at the 10-week um, update. Um, but I am, I'm feeling okay it's just the anxiety, shortness of breath, can't catch my breath. Um, and But my increased urination, since I went to the hospital and got the IV, I did, I have increased my urine. I've been drinking more. So my mom just brought me a water. Um, I'm trying to make sure I drink at least one of these uh, within two hours. That's a big thing for me. So I'm gonna start this water, but I just want to give you guys an update what's going on. Um, I will do, I'm going to try to keep up with my updates like the week after. Um, I'm just excited because my next appointment is on the 31st of July. And that's when I go to for my next ultrasound at 4.30. Not ultrasound. Um, I go for my next appointment on the 31st of July. So hopefully between now and then I'll be able to hold out and not. But my anxiety is getting the best of me some days. So And then like today I have cramping today. I'm taking it easy, but then it still have that thought in the back of my mind, like what's going on? I haven't seen pump. I haven't seen a oh, pumpkin, Lord, rest in peace, pumpkin. I haven't seen Nugget in a while, but um, last week at 10 weeks, uh, Nugget was the size of a comp. I can't say it. Don't pick at me, please. Don't. Corn. Um. Kumquat. That's what it is. Kum. Come quiet. That's what the size of pumpkin was at 10 weeks. Uh, 11 weeks, baby, is the size of a strawberry. So um, this is exciting. I'm just excited. I'm ready to see Nugget again. 
and I can't wait but I just want y'all be blessed baby dust to all of you out there thank you for your prayers and support I appreciate you please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up a big thumbs up don't forget to give that and um, share the video be blessed